guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. Christina with a K. Hey, Christina with a K. Hey, 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 girl. Hey, boy, how you doing? How you feeling? Today in this video, guys, I wanted to do a video where I'm rating my top lace sprays. <laughs> I have so many. I have so many. This is ridiculous. I have so many. I have so many. I'm a product junkie, y'all. So I realized that I am a product junkie. Boom. Knew it. Tell us about it, please. And I wanted to start a new series. I'm starting a lot of new series, huh? But this one is called Confessions of a Product Junkie. And in that, I'm trying to eliminate space. I'm trying to simplify things. I'm trying to not obsess over buying so much stuff. And I know you probably can relate to this, but every time I hear somebody say, oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. I'm like, okay, click, click, click. Boom, boom, boom. Let's buy, buy, buy. You may be right. But I don't have to like it. But we need to stop that. Well, I need to stop that. I can't tell you what you need to do with your life. It's your life. But I know with me personally, I am trying not to just be so compulsive and buy so much stuff. Especially being an influencer, I always want to try new stuff, especially for you guys. And I also want to try new stuff just because I feel like, oh, okay, I can say I tried it. But that's not okay. That's not okay. So we need to cut the cost down and I want to rate my lace spray. <laughs> <laughs> that I have told you guys about in the past two to three years that I love. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all why I love it, why I don't love it anymore, what's my top one right now. You know, it might change in a week or a day, but hopefully it stays pretty consistent. I hope this video does help you because I tell you guys a lot of different products and I know it's frustrating when somebody always has a new product that they're like, oh, this is great. You should definitely try this. I'm tired. I'm tired of trying stuff. I want to try what's in the bottom of my cupboard and use that until I run out, okay? You are preaching to the choir. And y'all definitely give me a thumbs up if you're liking this content because I told you guys I want to do more like how-tos or just the whys and the this and the that. Just so you guys, you know, so it helps somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I don't need to help somebody. If you're new here, I do a lot of wig reviews on this channel. And like I said, I have reviewed a lot of lace sprays. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and start talking. So I'm going to go in order of my least favorite to my top favorite. This is no offense to anybody. It's just what works for me. Some people may love something else and they may say, no, this one should be up here. This one should be down here. Listen, this is my channel. And I'm telling you what works for me. Okay. Okay, y'all understand? So we gonna respect that, okay? So the first one on my list of how I feel. Wait, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so this is gonna be the top nine. <laughs> this is embarrassing. So the first one on my list of least favorite. I recently reviewed this adhesive. It actually was with this review here. This our list of reviews. So check this out if you're interested in this wig. But this is from the Wig Addict. I feel. I don't want to say I feel bad. This is a smaller company, you know, they did send me this stuff, but I'm not too sure I love it yet. It's not giving me the hold that I would like. So this is kind of on my bottom of my list right now. So this is just the wig attic, no glue boo adhesive. So that's the first one. And it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's just not really a favorite. I'm not, it's just not that that's the first one. <laughs> So the second one is what everybody loves and everybody uses and I just don't love it. I don't love it. I initially used to use this got to be glue spray, but I'm not a fan of this spray at all. It is on the bottom of my list, y'all. This spray holds your your wigs down, but the residue, the residue is ridiculous on this. I'm not a fan of that at all. I think it, it gets real cakey. It's just it's just too harsh i shied away from that so because of that one the third one on my list i did try this upgraded got to be glue in the blue can and i tried this for a little bit and i kind of liked it but i realized that it doesn't really hold <laughs> the wig as much as i would like it kind of reminds me of this one it's like it holds it but then it loosens up and it doesn't give you that firm all day hold so this is number three on my list i use this one more for hairspray and I just use it to set curls. That's pretty much it. On human hair wigs, I use it to set curls 
and it's a hairspray for me at this point. The got to be too. I don't know if I, I wish I could get somebody this stuff because a lot of the stuff is brand new. So the next one on my list, y'all might be mad at me for this, and it's not because it's bad. Don't do not put words in my mouth, girl. It's not because it's bad. It's just this is just the order that I laid out these sprays. So this one is the M New York Wonder Lace Bond Spray, and this is the original can. So this is the yellow can, and it's good. It really does give a nice hold but to me it's not as good as the other ones so I think because I tried the other ones which are further up on my list it is what it is I wouldn't buy it again these right here that I just told you about are more like hairsprays for me like I would use those to to set curls does that make sense <laughs> Let's go on. So the next one on my list, I was debating on putting this one as number five or putting another one, but I put this one as number five. This olive oil fix it super hold spray. This is really good, y'all. This is really good. It gives a firm hold. My only issue with this and why I put it below the next spray that I'm gonna tell you guys about is because I just feel like it just takes a little bit too long to dry for me. I got used to instant. I got used to dry really quick and this just takes a little bit longer to dry but it's a really good spray so it's kind of in my top sprays if I had to pick. These are in the bottom <laughs> but this is going to the top. So this is the this is the bottom of the top. You gotta start from the bottom. Now you hit. I started from the bottom. Now we hit. Start from the bottom. Now we hit. Oh oh oh. <laughs> Be acting like I'm 25. Anyway. So this one is really good, but the can is really full and it just takes too long to dry. If I had time to dry the wig, I mean, it's not that bad. It's just, I'm used to faster, that's all. But it's a good hold. It doesn't leave much residue and I like it. I really do like it. It gives a nice hold. Number, number six on the list. This one right here, this Kufani. So I told you guys about this one and I said I was gonna replace it with my bed head. The reason that I decided to not replace this with my bed head and kind of stick to my bed head is I really do like the spray. The spray holds your wigs down. There's not a lot of residue on this and it actually dries really, really fast. It gives it a nice tight hold. The issue that I have with this is pretty much the price. I'm a junkie, but I'm cheap. So cheap. I wish the price was a little bit lower. If I have something else that's more comparable and it's a little bit more affordable in price, I'm gonna go grab that. And that's just the honest truth. So I wouldn't repurchase this only because I don't like the price. Sorry, but I like it. It's nice. So we're getting into the top. What number are we on y'all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're getting into the seven, eight, nine. This should have been 10. Why don't I have one more? I need one more to review for y'all so I can say top 10. <laughs> but yeah, so number seven on my list is this Evan New York Wonder Bond Lace Adhesive Spray in the red can. So this is the active one. And I really do love the way this holds down your wig. It's a great hold. Just for me, it leaves a little bit of a residue for me compared to what I know. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as the got to be. But for me, it's just a little bit too cakey, but it's a great hold. It's an amazing hold. But compared to this black one, this is number eight on my list. This is number eight, but it probably should be a little bit lower because I wouldn't grab this for more every day. I just really, really love the hold on this. This will hold your wig for two to three days. The residue on this is minimal compared to the red can. And it's also really comparable to this can. Like it feels, it feels like a yellow can, but firmer. So I like the fact that it doesn't give a residue like the yellow can, but it's just an amazing hold. Now, do I wear my wigs for two to three days? Me personally, I take my wigs off every night. So this can is not for me every day to grab, but I love the hold that this, this can gives. And I love the fact that it does not give you a residue. This is a really good choice if you're looking to wear your wigs for like two to three days or maybe two days, you know, just over one day, I guess, if you want to sleep in it. I think this is a great option. Y'all know what, y'all, y'all know my number one, my number one on the list 
right now is bedhead i just feel like this i always go back to bedhead as much as i try other sprays on this channel i'm always running back to my bedhead i love this because it dries fast there's not a lot of residue it's a firm hold and it just it's amazing like it's not meant for melting wigs but a lot of wig reviewers do use this and I see why. It's really a hairspray. It's supposed to be for curls and stuff, but it's just a really good hold for your wigs and I really do like it. I do take my wigs off every night and I feel like it comes off really easily. It doesn't leave too much residue, but yet it's not too light where it's the wig's gonna slip off. Like I just feel like it's a good kind of balance in between. So that is actually my number one lace adhesive spray. So that's pretty much all the sprays that I have tried on this channel y'all comment below let me know what do y'all like because i'm just curious i'm, I'm no nah, i'm just nosy <laughs> I'm not gonna try it because right now I'm trying to, you know, cut down the sprays and trying all kind of stuff. I like to know. I like to know what the community is using. I like to know what's your favorite, what you know, you know, all that good stuff. Let's let's talk. Let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more like this. I do have more videos like this coming up of guys. I do have more videos of this of confessions of a product junkie and I'm going to be writing a lot of things that I bought like lace tint sprays, leave-in condition, like it's going to be a lot. Y'all comment below what y'all want to see rated or if you like this series. I don't even know if it's going to be a series. It, it might just be a five episode series. I don't know. We just going to see how it goes. We try new stuff, you know. We just got to try stuff and see what happens. <laughs> as far as the gels go, I didn't want to put like the lace gels that I use in this video because I feel like that's a whole, oh, that's a whole another video. So I could rate my gels and tell you guys which ones I like in order and go from there. Yeah, 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 let's do that. That's, that'll be another video. But drop some comments on what y'all want to see, you know, my top whatever skincare makeup anything wig related we gonna write everything on this channel okay give this video a thumbs up for me especially if you like this new content that i'm trying to bring to y'all hit that subscribe button and until next time i'm gonna talk to y'all later bye what's up long it's cold okay mom life